what's up guys welcome to another level video so in this video we're going to ahead a column to existing data so yep further ado let's get started so the thing is like we actually added the customer login seller login we added sellers but now we want to associate these items to sellers because so whenever a seller is adding a new seller is adding some items to the some items in the database so we know that okay this item belong to this seller so yeah uh, so first of all we will add migration so we'll create make migration and add column uh, seller id to item table. so this is the structure that you usually follow when you are adding the column so this why that's how actually laravel actually generate the blueprint for your migration so yeah let's go ahead okay let's actually now try to find this guy add column so uh, yeah so it actually generated this uh, migration for it so here we will add table that unsigned big integer seller id and we'll call it nullable and so the reason we are making nullable because now that uh, the table already exists and it has uh, all, uh, a lot of items so if we don't make it nullable so it will actually start to complain because uh, uh, by default all the columns are null so either we need to provide a default value so and uh, either we make it nullable so yeah so let's make it uh, instead of nullable we can also make it default value maybe one so because we have uh, one seller we want to associate all the items to the seller for now uh, in the later uh, we will also add the logic to to add the seller id uh, with the item id so yeah let's make it one and here in the down migration we will write okay table that remove column seller id let's go ahead and migrate this so migrate okay so good so uh, the migration is run so we have seller id column now uh, with all the item uh, so yeah, it's a good start so the next thing that we need to do is we will go to the seller directed php and we will associate the seller id with with the item form so let's go ahead and okay, let's open everything up so here now we know like we already have this authentication so we'll add the seller id here you can use the id column here and actually add the seller ID to the item here so now we also need to build, add the relationship for the item So this item actually belongs to seller, so we'll use the belongs to, and we'll use the seller. And we will also specify the relationship. So the seller ID will be linked to the seller table, and in the seller table, it will be the ID column. That's how actually it will join the column. So yeah, that's all we need to do. So, and we can also specify the seller here. So we'll get the, we'll, you know, we'll get the type hinting. So we'll get the intelligence from the PHP Storm by this way so yeah that's i think all we need to do here and uh, yeah let's actually go ahead and add an item okay so let's go ahead and add an item and uh, let's call it maybe mobile samsung phone let's call it token judge and let's choose the try and choose the image if we can here we can choose image s6 project s6 yeah we can choose my maybe this okay so let's start with and save the item so let's go ahead and check it out so in the item folder if we go here and we can see like the id is associated here and yeah, that's all that we need to do we need to do for this and one more check that we want to add is okay once when uh, the seller is editing the item so we want to make sure the seller is only editing the item that belongs to the seller so here we'll add the additional way class where we we'll put seller id and auth seller id and this is our guard actually uh we have you we're using this guard so you can actually check it using this here to actually get the login a seller yeah here is a guard sorry 
so to get the log in seller we use the seller log and it will pro it will give us the seller object here and we'll get the id id from the seller and same that we need to do uh, for the update as well here okay cool. so we have the seller id here as well and same we need to do for the items as well because we don't want to get all the items uh, from the cell uh, for all the sellers we only want to want them to download item that belongs to the seller so we'll call it items and here we can actually use the where class seller id and seller and id so yeah that's all that we need to do here okay. and same we need to do here as well items okay cool. so i think that's all we need to do so actually let's keep it here and let's try to add one more seller and let's see if we can edit the item for this guy or not and let's log it out okay and let's add one more seller here and current model second seller maybe we can call it apple Okay, cool. So now we get the Apple model, uh, Apple seller as well. Let's log in. Okay, cool. Now let's try to edit items here and let's see if he's able to. So we'll get the photo for not now. But there is one more use case that we need to handle that is, well, should not be able to see the item from the other seller as well. So for that reason, we'll go here and here we'll add the seller ID as well. Oh yeah, now it's working fine. Let's actually try to export it. So we're using queuing for export. So it might not work. So yeah, but uh, yeah, that's all that we need to do. And here CS3 is also not working. The reason is because we don't have a lot of items. So here we can actually, um, I think this was the issue. So let's try to put it in. So yeah, we've got the CS3, but it should be empty. So, Oh, yeah. so that's all we needed to do for here and now we know like uh, we have different sellers and we can uh, they can edit and add only items in their own domain and they will not be able to edit the items that are not that doesn't belong to them uh, so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye cheers see you